Sign up today for a seven-day free trial at alerts.chartguys.com. Before we get into it, just got an email from YouTube and looks like they've changed notifications. I've gotten so many messages about notifications not working over the last year, so check out how to set up the newer notifications on YouTube. There's different settings you can do and things like that, and hopefully that problem is fixed. Hey everyone, checking in on the cryptocurrency space. So things are going according to plan as far as expectations of a slow weekend as the range on the daily continues to tighten up. And it's important to be able to recognize when that kind of situation is going to be coming because if we can pump the brakes during these periods and then know to go aggressive after these periods when we see breaks of tightening ranges, that ability alone is a really good way of preserving capital when it's not ideal trading conditions and then being aggressive when it is ideal trading conditions. So we are waiting for a break. We anticipated perhaps Monday as the break day, but it could be tomorrow as well, just patiently watching as it could come at any moment. But as of right now, we've got our high of the bull move, the low of the pullback. Our lower high was set at $12,064, and it looks like our higher low is set here at $10,761. So again, we could see a break within the next 24 hours, but... We would need to see a volume spike. Look at the volume drop off the last five days in a row. If we see a bear break of 10,761 for the bears to get convincing follow through, they need to break the low of 9,651. And likewise, if the bulls see a break of 12,064, they need to see a break of 12,444 and then 13,8. So this isn't my ideal kind of equilibrium. My ideal equilibrium would have a wider range and take longer to tighten up. So if I were going to be able to choose what I wanted, which obviously I can't, I would want something along the lines of this. Now, why would I want something along the lines of that? Because it would be more clear. There would be more range to play within the tightening pattern. So we can still trade within tightening patterns. But most importantly is when the break does occur from a really tight equilibrium, on this single bull move, you break, or bear move, you break multiple resistance or support levels, and it's very convincing. Everybody is on board and saying, yep, that's our break. And if we can just go to gold for a second, a lot of people have been watching gold, but gold was in a multiple year monthly equilibrium that we were watching. And look at this bull candlestick. So here's your equilibrium where we had our low, high, higher low, lower high, higher low, lower high, higher low bull break last month. One, two, three resistance levels all taken out on one candlestick. That's a very convincing bull break. And there's nobody sitting there saying, well, if we don't clear this resistance level, then you know I'm gonna go short or things like that. It's just a very clear bull break. And Bitcoin with where we stand on this daily time frame, there's so much distance before we get to the other resistance levels that we can't be certain. You know, if, even if we break this 12,000, 64 resistance, we still have to go more than 10% just to get to the top. And if we break support, we still have to go more than 10% to get to that next support level. So there is a scenario where if we break some of these resistance levels, we don't get significant follow through and it's a, a bit less clear. So we'll have to see how it plays out. So currently I'm holding some positions, still got a small Bitcoin, small Ethereum position. I will probably add a bit if we get a bull break. But again, this is not my ideal kind of equilibrium. So that tells me be less aggressive. If it were my ideal kind of equilibrium, maybe I go all in on the break when it occurs. If it's not, maybe I only use half of my capital. So again, knowing when to pump the brakes or go aggressive is very important as a trader. So what Bitcoin is doing right now in the short term, this is showing me that there's some bots. There's some sell bots set up. And why I say that is because we make a bull break and then instantly see some selling pressure. This candle, this candle, most notably, bull break to head up to resistance and then squashed right back down towards the low and towards support. And then just again, bull break candle, no follow through and selling pressure back down. So we're in a choppy range. There's definitely a bit of a battle going on between the bots and it's a very tight range. If you look at this hourly range that we've been within for the last 10 hours, 11,640, with 11,525, that's essentially a $115 range. That's the tightest hourly range that we have been trading within on Bitcoin in a very long time. You're not gonna find 10 hours in a tighter range anytime in the last few weeks. So choppy short-term action, which means zoom out for clarity. 
and I'm looking at the four hour time frame. We had a double bottom and a bull break. That bull break didn't get much follow through. So again, we've been watching the 12 hour time frame. That's where it's a bit more clear. We've got our low of the pullback, high of the bounce, higher low, anything under 12,064, just a lower high and seeing a clear tightening range forming. So patiently waiting, I will exit all of my positions if 10,761 were to break. And that's the rundown on Bitcoin. Ethereum on the daily time frame. we're still watching this descending triangle pattern with essentially a double bottom of support and then just clear lower highs of resistance as we work our way down. <clears throat> 304 is our last lower high. We held support and we're tightening up here as well. So a clear bear break would be under 270 and a clear bull break would be over 304 at this point. You can see the volume consistently dropping off and we're just patiently waiting for the break sometime within the next probably 48 hours or so. And with where we're set up on the ETH BTC chart right now, the bears have favor. We're still in a very clear downtrend. We did see a bit of a double bottom and it's almost the same pattern. If we look at the USD chart one more time, pretty much almost a double bottom, real tightening range, clear lower highs, and ETH BTC is doing the same thing. So we have a new resistance at 2642, support is 2482. Worst case scenario for Ethereum bulls is a bear break of the US dollar chart under 270 and a bear break of this BTC pairing chart, which is still in a clear downtrend with daily exponential resistance. Litecoin on the daily time frame is a bit more of a clear equilibrium with a bit more range in between support and resistance. So we're looking for a higher low to form compared to 111.20. The question is, is 116.56 our higher low? We haven't seen enough bounce follow through to be confident. If the bulls were to make their way up to say the 122s, then we'd say, yes, that's our higher low, 116.56, but not enough follow through yet. And if we do keep pulling back, we'll say, nope, we have not found that higher low yet. And again, just watching for the tightening range. Look at the volume, just a very clear declining volume pattern as the equilibrium tightens. You'll see this all the time when you're watching equilibrium patterns and it's the volume spike and the break of price levels that is associated with the break of these equilibriums. LTC BTC chart is also struggling for the Litecoin bulls. We've got the exponential resistance, clear lower highs still in play. If we break 01, that'll be a clear bear break and we'll be looking down to the low and we'll keep that downtrend intact. Pretty much the bulls are gonna have to break 12, 12 to see any kind of significant follow through on the daily time frame. Still watching these Bitcoin pairings, but they're not showing us anything at this point that would have me wanting to play Litecoin or Ethereum over Bitcoin with how they are currently set up. Change those daily trends and that will change our tune. But until that happens, Bitcoin is remaining king at this point. XRP, weaker, and we've been highlighting how it has been weaker and we're dropping to clear lower lows and no other name right now on, on the USD pairing that we just looked at is dropping to lower lows this clearly. Support was 384 and we clearly dropped below it. Anything now under, still looking at this as our lower high of 429 because we've seen a lower high every single candlestick the last seven days in a row. So bears in complete control of that daily time frame. The weekly uptrend is in jeopardy. It is still holding, but if we see a bear break of 3699, that is a loss of the weekly uptrend, which would be notable as again, you're not going to find many of the major coins on the USD pairings that are losing their weekly uptrend at this point. Binance on the daily time frame, also a fairly weak bounce attempt. Anything under 3580 was just a lower high. We're topping out at 3438. And if we see these inside bars break bearish, that will be our new daily lower high. So real tight range inside bars are set to break in the short term. And our support is down at 30.56. And again, if we lose the weekly uptrend, we're looking at monthly consolidation. It's still holding on at this point, but it's certainly something that I am going to be watching very close for July for the potential of the loss of the weekly uptrend. Again, Drew, in the last video, the potential inverse, not inverse, regular head and shoulders pattern. If we get a bounce and can't break the all-time high and then lose the weekly uptrend, that would tell us monthly consolidation is coming but really not a whole lot of more, no, not much more information since the last time we looked. So asked whether people wanted to keep looking at XRP and most people responded with LINK. So LINK USDT, this is, a, a, this is my kind of equilibrium. As you can see how it's been playing out and it's nice and tight, volume dropping off as anticipated. We've been within this tight range now. 
for about eight days. We've got our high, low of the pullback, lower high, higher low, patiently waiting. If this inside bar forms today and then breaks bearish tomorrow, our lower high will be 375 and we'll be looking down at 320 support. This is definitely one to watch. Again, you could not be trading link at all the last six days, but you can be looking at this pattern and saying, we're going to get a, a volume spike and we're going to get a clear break sometime in the next 40 to 60 hours or so. And that is something to set some alerts for and to patiently wait for. And it's the kind of thing where if you have orders set, you can set the chart guys alert system and put abnormal volume as your alert. And that would let you know it's going down. The break is occurring. And also price shears, whether you wanted to know if it was a bull break or a bear break, putting those price shears in would tell you which direction that break is occurring in. So that's what we've got. Patiently waiting, not expecting a ton of action until end of the weekend. And we will check back in once we get a bit more action. Again, patiently waiting on these tightening ranges, but we can't be too confident unless we get significant follow through on either of these two short term breaks that we're looking at on Bitcoin, because the next key levels are 10% away in either direction. Although there is one more key resistance closer by 12,444. That's less than $400 away. So that would be a notable level. A bull break without breaking that level would be a, certainly a red flag for short term momentum. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Do good things out there. Have a good weekend. That's it. Blackberries are starting to ripen and there's a huge difference between a blackberry that's hot from the sun and something that's days old and refrigerated and out of the grocery store and it's way better. And these guys are big and fat. It's important not to take every ripe berry. You want to leave some for the birds to have. Because sharing is caring. Baby ducks are getting their sleek feathers now. The fuzzies are going away on their wings. And continuing to get older. I'm coming to say hello.